Hi and welcome to WEH Videos. My name is Skip and this is part four of my series on creating a 3D cockpit for your airplane that doesn't have one. And this is where we left off. We had created our little cube cockpit and we put it in X-Plane and this is where it ended up. So we have work to do. It's obvious, since the windshield wipers are inside the cockpit, that the cube probably should be moved back a little bit. And there's several ways we can do this. But I think just to see how we can do with Blender, let's go back into Blender and resize that cube. Maybe we'll make it a little bit smaller and make sure it's completely inside the airplane. So here we are back in Blender, right where we left it, and we want to move the cube. So up here we have these little thingies here, and we can click on them to get a different look. This is a solid view here, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, we can see our cube is too far forward and outside of the airplane, so we're going to move it back. So we're going to go up here to the cube, select it, and now we're going to make sure we're in the object mode. Very important. And we're going to hit the G key to grab it. And we're going to move it back right about there. Uh, that's pretty good. And we may want to come back and resize it if that doesn't work. But for now, we're going to leave it there. We're going to hit the number one key to get the forward view and to make sure it's in a good position. So we got the three key and the one key. That's looking pretty good. So we're going to go up here and go File, Save, and then back over here to our little eyedropper guy. And we're going to hit Export. It turned blue, so that means we got it exported. And this is where it gets a little tedious. We go back to Plane Maker. And if you don't have it open, file open to get your airplane here. We go to Standards, Miscellaneous Objects, and we go back to, all the way down, that's where our dash cockpit is. You want to find the cockpit that you put in. And we're going to come over here, and it says Clear. We're going to clear that. We're getting rid of that one. We're going to close that, and we're going to go File, save. Now we go back and go standards, miscellaneous objects, and we're going to go to the add and we're going to put the new file there. So we're going to go back up to the dash 8 to objects and you'll notice that this has been made today. So we have a new one that was just created. So we're not just putting the same one back. This has been rewritten. We're going to open this up and then again, very important, internal cockpit, high res, and then we close that, and then we do file, save, and then we go back to X-Plane and open it up in X-Plane. Unfortunately, we can't use the developer routine when we do this part of it, so we open up another airplane, and then we open up our Dash 8. And that's this one here, and we restart the flight. All right, we positioned it pretty well. I don't think we can do a whole lot better, but we'll do some more tweaking. So here's our dash. Windshield wipers are in the right place, and we're looking really good. So we're going to leave it right there. Now we can just do some repositioning in X-Plane Plane Maker. Back in Plane Maker, we want to go to the Standards drop-down and go to Viewpoint. And now we have these three adjustments we can make. We have a long arm, a lateral arm, and a vertical arm. This is all relative to a point that the developers have in the airplane, some spot, and they're different from different developers. But that spot is 12.5 feet longitudinally. Now I'm going to guess that's from the nose of the airplane back. 12 feet is where that point is. And lateral side to side is 0.9 feet. So we're 
Negative is probably to the left side. I'm not sure, but let's just assume it's that way. And vertically is 8.7 feet. So, and that's going to be this way. And I really don't have a clue of how this works. So we're going to make some adjustments with these. Now, when we looked at X-Plane, we noticed that this is probably not a bad place for our cockpit laterally back and forth. This would be a good place to leave for now. So all we need to change is the lateral and the vertical. And again, going back to X-Plane, even our lateral is looking pretty good. We may want to move it just a little bit. So for now, I think we're just going to mess with the vertical. And it's 8.7. So you should write these numbers down before you change them. And I like to start with just making a big change. So we go from 8 to 7. And let's just see what that does. So we need to close this and go File, Save. And then we go back to X-Plane. And the good news is we can use the developer drop down here and reload and see what happens. And I'm going to speed this up. So stand by. Well, yeah, as you can see, we made a pretty good jump there. But let's go back and make one more adjustment here. This seems ought to be just a little bit lower. So we'll go back into Plane Maker. And we'll go to Viewpoints. And we went from 8 to 7. So let's just go 9, 7.9, and see what that does to our vertical arm. We'll go File, Save, back to X-Plane, and Developer, Reload Aircraft. And I think that looks really good. On this airplane, I would don't think I would do an awful lot more. That's just for you to decide. And now that you see how to do this, I don't think we need to make any more adjustments here. But there's one more thing you need to know. And on this same tab here, we're going to go to Cockpit. We're still in the viewpoints. And down here, we have a bunch of checkboxes. And this is going to determine what shows and what doesn't show. And you're just going to have to play around with this to find what you like. So this is Show Cockpit Objects in and 2D forward view, 2D no panel view, 3D view, and so on. And then this is the external aircraft, what you're going to look at outside. So what this basically does is, do you start the airplane with your new 3D panel, or do you start it with a 2D panel and then be able to switch to the 3D? And to be honest with you, I don't know which one is which. This is what I have set up and the airplane starts with the 3D panel. And that's all there is to it. So just remember, you're going to go to Standards, Viewpoint, and you're going to make these adjustments. The long arm is going to be from front to back, lateral, side to side, and of course vertical, up and down. So you're just going to play with these until you get something you like. Now there's one more adjustment, I think, that might help you because you don't want to be going back to Blender and moving that cube around because that is going to ruin everything and you'll have to start over. So once you're satisfied with the placement of that cube, you can come back here and go to Standards, Miscellaneous Objects, and you see these numbers here? Well, they work the same as the viewpoint. They will relocate that cube for you here. Now, I believe most developers prefer to get their objects done in Blender, but I think for this ridiculous little cube, if you want to move it back and forth, this would be the way to go. And they tell you up here we got longitudinal, lateral, and vertical object attach arm. So this is where you can change that. And I would do this as a last resort. Try with the viewpoints. If you can get that working, that's great. If you're having trouble, then move that cube here. I think that'll make it a whole lot easier. In the next video, I want to show you how you can improve on this cockpit. Obviously, we don't have a roof, and we got a bar up here. And 
I mean, this works fine for me, honestly. It, you're just flying. But to make it a little bit nicer, we can modify this PNG file. And just let me show you what I mean. I have another PNG file. I took this PNG and I modified it a little bit. And this is what I came up with. I have a panel up here now. I have a roof and a panel. So I can actually add instruments here. I'm not done with this. I have work to do. But this is the thing I want to show you in the next video, how we can improve on this and make it look more like a real cockpit. So in the next video, I'm going to go over how you can modify the PNG file in a free photo editing software called GIMP. So here's the one I just made, showed you, and here's the original panel. So you can add to this. You can do all kinds of things in GIMP to make this PNG nicer, which will give you a better cockpit. So that's it for how to create a 3D cockpit for your airplane that doesn't have one and the adjustments you need to make. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. And in the next video, we're going to go over how to play with your PNG file in GIMP and make it a little better so your cockpit looks a little nicer. So these are the things that are coming in the future. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please click the like button. And again, if you have any questions or would just like to leave a comment, please do so. I'll do my best to answer them. So thanks again for watching and God bless.